G'day guys, it's Jake here. Today I wanted to give you an introduction into Power Apps. Now Power Apps is a new product from Microsoft. It's just come out into release. So if you have an Office 365 subscription, you will get Power Apps if you want it, or you can buy it yourself as just its own plan. So the pricing is just clearly available on the website, which is powerapps.microsoft.com. What it is, it's a little application builder that will make mobile apps that can integrate with your data. So your data can be in many different places. It can be, if I scroll down a bit more, in all of these places. You can just have an Excel sheet, you could have a SharePoint list, and you can connect them all together and allow people to input data from their phones and also get data from their phones. So to get Power Apps, you just need the Microsoft account or an Office 365 subscription. And if you open up the store, you can download the Power Apps application just by searching for it. Power Apps. And then you click install. I've already got it installed, so my button isn't there to install it. So I'll just exit that. When you open the application, this is what you're greeted with. So they come with some nice little pre-built ones so you can see what's going on and have a little bit of demo data. So let's say we'll download the Asset Checkout application or app, Power App, I guess we should say. So once the Power App's downloaded, you'll be able to open it and click around and see what it looks like. So you can use Power Apps from your desktop from this, or you can also use it from the web viewer. And we can click around and let's say we want to check out this keyboard. Do check out and say name is Jake. Reserve for three months and we'll reserve it. So now we've checked out the wireless keyboard. So this could be used as a inventory management, maybe for cars or obviously equipment here or anything else you really wanted to use it for. So to exit the power app, we hit the exit button and then hit exit. So normally to edit a uh, power app, you would hit this button it's not going to allow us to do it with the asset checkout. So what we'll do is we'll create a new one and let's just use a template. So we'll use the phone layout. And we can create a new one. Let's say we use the budget tracker template. So that Microsoft have given us some of these templates for free just to use. So we can choose where we would want our data to be and we're going to pick OneDrive. So now we've chosen OneDrive for business. Next, or use, I mean. And this will go ahead and create our Power App from the template. So you can use blank ones, which we'll go into in another video. This one's just a demo, so we're just gonna use this template. Now you can see on the left hand side we have our pages. So we can scroll through those and see the different pages inside of this app. Let's make it big. So there we go, I zoomed in a bit. So these are all the different pages that are part of our app. And you can also see if we were to click on here 
we can see it has default values and stuff like that. We can edit text. So you could put a dollar sign in there if you wanted to. And you can see the text in there and these are the property fields. So if you hit down, you'll see a bunch of different properties. We'll go over that more in depth in another one. You can see that this is a little button and on select it removes the stuff and sends us to another form. So that's basically it. Now we've got a pre-made little template. Let's Let's save this. And we can save it to the cloud. So I'm going to hit save. So now you can see that it was successfully saved. So if we now exit this one we will be able to open our app or our power app as it's now as it's known so when this is done you'll also be able to open it on your phone if we refresh our apps we can see there budget tracker phone so let's download that to the computer download the app See the budget tracker wants to use our camera, so I'm going to allow that. And we can now see the budget tracker. It's got some data in there, we can scroll up and down. It's pretty intuitive, it'll look the same on a phone too, so we can click the button. So budget title is for um, additional RAM and we'll say $50, hit save. Oh, that doesn't work like that. Let's add an expense to this. Um, hotel, 2000, put the categories don't seem to have anything in them by default, but that doesn't matter. And we'll just take a photo, move it. And there we go, that is the fun of new software, it crashes. Don't you love it when software crashes? So we'll open this up again. So for some reason, Power Apps crashed my display driver, which is just lovely. I love it when fun stuff like that happens. So we'll allow it to use the camera again. So let's try and add it in again, see if it crashes again. Let's add an expense. Now I can tell you that I haven't had it crash on the phone so far. Hotel thousand dollars categories are blank and let's take a photo again and see if it crashes all right so that just worked so we we'll use that photo all right oh something happened then but it didn't crash 
So let's save that receipt. Didn't quite like it. Anyway, Microsoft's Power App is a bit buggy from the look of it. So let's exit this Power App. So anyway, that's how you create a Power App from a template. I'm going to do more videos in the coming future on how to create a Power App from scratch, which when that's done, I'll leave a link here and also how to do some other stuff in Power Apps. So don't forget like and subscribe to see more and there'll be a playlist for Power Apps as well. So don't forget if uh, you want to see more, view the playlist, see the channel uh, and I'll talk to you later.